Hey guys, Swisher Family Farm here. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about wood stoves. Now I've Amy put a link to how to do the insta installation of the wood stove and what we did to install ours with the cost and how everything works. Now let's talk about the inside. Let's talk about the one thing nobody talks about. How to regulate your wood stove. You ever notice you put a cup piece of wood in there and that thing will feel like it's thousand degrees coming off of there because your setup is all wrong. Well, today we're gonna to teach you how to do that setup. This is a quick snippet of a tip for me to you, and we're gonna tell you what we do on our homestead. Now, I've seen a lot of people buying these stoves. We got a friend of ours that's a Facebook friend. They just bought one and her husband just installed it. And this video is kind of a shout out to them to tell them how to set it up and how to get it working the correct way so they don't have to take two years to figure it out. Now I have watched a couple of things on YouTube about doing this. It doesn't work. This doesn't work on every stove. This is a stove from US Stove Company. They're out of Tennessee. We had bought this in February on Valentine's Day. You can kind of say I get away with saying, Amy, that was a Valentine's Day gift for you. But hey, it wasn't, it was a gift for both of us. So you got your wood stove, we got it installed, we did it the first time we did it. Matter of fact, right behind me where you see that window is where the wood stove used to be. And we moved it over to the other side because she wanted to be able to look out and see the garden. Now she can do dishes, she can look out, look at the garden and look at the animals. She's happy. Happy wife, happy life. Now, what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about setups. We're going to talk about what you need and what you have to have set up and what you're going to have to do to take care of your wood stove. Okay? So enough of the talking. Let's get to the point. Here we go. All right, guys. So you see we have a wood pot, or a wood pot, ha! You see we have a stainless steel pot here, we got a stainless steel pot because we put water in it. Most of you bought those little ones that you put right there, you know, the cast iron ones that you can put drops of stuff in, we had one of those. I'll actually tell you, it gets kind of disgusting and gets a little scary because uh, we did that for like eight months and then one night we put a drop of some, uh, I think it was mint in there and the next thing you know, it. We could, we have a hard time breathing because of the chemical. Yeah. It builds up on the bottom of those things. So we got rid of it. Ended up buying a stainless steel pot from Walmart. We fill that up to here with water. We just let it go. Keeps the moisture in the house. Stops you from getting nosebleeds. It's fantastic the way it works. Now, we're going to get into something that's vitally important to your wood stove. And if you don't have these, run out and get one now. You need one of these thermometers. You must have one of these. And I'm gonna tell you why. One, it's gonna, it's gonna save you from burning your house down or your tiny home or your trailer or whatever you got this thing in. Because when that thing hits the red, let's see if I can pull it in the, so you can read it. When that thing hits the red, you see what it says. Over firing. Don't overfire your, no matter what anybody says, you don't do that. Now, I'm going to take you over here to this side, and you'll see we have a fire extinguisher right there, and we have a torch. That torch we use to light this up. It's really easy, simple. We've been using that now for two years, and I had a problem with it. We always keep a fire extinguisher close and handy in case something happens. We can put it out right away. Please take the time, get a fire extinguisher, put it close by your wood stove, and also get yourself a torch. It works really, really well. Now, this unit came with a blowing unit for a blower that's back behind here. That's where the blowing unit is. It's down below. You can plug it in and use it. We did start using it when we first got this thing, but it's too loud. It was too noisy. It wasn't quiet. It just it, it just was too noisy. So we shut it off. We let the wood stove do what the wood stove was intended for was to heat. Now, let's get to the heating part of this, okay? Through two years of me and Amy doing this, we have had to we had to play with this thing over and over and over again. And we finally got it dialed in. Now we're gonna save you guys time of having to worry about dialing it in because you can trust what we say. We're not gonna mislead you, we're here to help you. So you got a button down here, right here's this button right here. Okay, get that a little closer. 
pull that out when you first start it all the way out when you pull it out you're gonna see you're gonna see the flames kick up because you're allowing oxygen to enter there which is gonna heat your flame up and then it's gonna go through the top make sure that this is turned directly up and down now let your first set bed of coals rest let them get hot let it take its time and do what it needs to do once you have a bed of coals then what you're going to do is put a new piece of firewood on there you're going to push this in level with this right here level with this and you're going to turn that at a 45 degree angle when you do that you will have a fire like this and you will also see your thermometer pinpointed right between that and the yellow now once you get that thing down in your house will become perfectly adjusted it right now is about 80 degrees inside the house and outside it is now 41 so let me tell you 40 degrees difference makes a big difference we always try to keep a window at least a little cracked over by amy's desk just to make sure that we keep a, a motion of air moving through here from outside but it works and it'll work for you too so just remember pull that all the way out when you start your fire once you get your bed of coals push it in right to that edge of that burn or that piece of metal that comes off and make sure that that right there is set at a 45 degree angle once your coals are done and when you start start it so it's straight up and down now let's talk about price these days these things aren't cheap and i understand that and i know ours is two years old but if you can wait to get yours we waited until it was uh valentine's day we went down to tractor supply they had a marked down i paid 500 dollars for this unit at tractor supply because they were trying to get rid of their inventory from christmas now if you could wait i suggest to wait you're going to pay a lot less than what they than what it actually is listed for so that's a little tidbit of information also i want you to understand that this is unit is set up for 2000 square foot house this thing is supposed to heat a 2000 square foot house we live in a 400 square foot tiny home so did we overdo it yeah we overdid it was it worth it oh it was more than worth it because we never have to worry this thing will always heat this place fully now another thing another tip say your uh, temperature gauge gets in the red if you have a fan nearby take that fan plug it in point it up at the stack right here and that cold air will rush through push the hot air around and that'll actually drop the temperature of that gauge yes sir re bob so hope you guys enjoyed if you learned if you have any comments please ask put them down below and i'll be glad to answer your comments um, any questions please don't hesitate um, we've had this stove like I said for two years now and it's it's been a god saint. it's kept us warm in some really harsh storms and go out and buy yourself a pot for ten dollars versus those fancy ones they put there that they want I don't know I think it was like 30 bucks we paid for ours because it had a wolf on it but yeah, you do that. And on top of it, you can put one of those fans there to kind of get it circulating. We don't need to do that in our place. You might need to do it in yours, but we don't need to do it in ours. So, all right, guys. So you got to see what we do on our wood stove. I hope you guys learned something. I hope this helped you out. I'm inside the house today. There is nothing to do out in that gloomy, gucky weather. It's just nasty and terrible. And stay tuned because I'm going to tell you guys about a catastrophe on the homestead coming up in one of our next videos oh it's not good it's something you all need to think about too but at this point guys don't forget hit that subscribe button that like button i hope this helps you out god bless you all we love you and don't forget tell your friends about us let's get up there with our our subscribers and our family at that point we'll talk to you later bye